Two billion miles away, on the emerald planet in the Marpet galaxy, friendly creatures are aware that the planet Earth is in danger. They have received an urgent message that the salamander men of the planet Kulamath, deep in the Marpet galaxy, are planning to attack and destroy Earth. the emerald men confer on what must be done. They are aware that the atomic destruction of Earth could contaminate their own atmosphere with radioactivity. And so they reason. In order to save themselves, they must save Earth from the impending Kulamonian invasion. Scientists of the Emerald Planet have invented one of the most ingenious mechanisms the universe has ever seen. Called a globe meter, it is carried on the wrist. It enables its wearer to do three things. To fly through space, to detect radioactivity, and to speak and understand every language on the planet Earth. Finally, this great forum of the Emerald Hierarchy reaches a decision. In order to save Earth from the Kulamonian attack, they must once more present the globe meter to one of their fellow creatures and send him to Earth. He is the creature made of the strongest steel, the creature who can disguise himself as an earthling. He is the creature known as Starman. A cargo plane flown by a terror-stricken crew heads for the nearest airport. They are from outer space. We nearly didn't get away. They looked like nothing we'd seen on Earth, and they didn't respond to our radio signals either. That's right. They seem to think that they're flying disks. They estimate that their last course is this direction. Put all planes in the immediate area on the emergency. An emergency! An emergency! An emergency! All planes search the area and report to tower. Make a report on all objects sighted. An emergency. An emergency. You're cleared. You're cleared. You're cleared. You're cleared. fails to turn up the mysterious flying objects. But soon after the emergency alert, people begin falling ill of an unknown disease. The deadly disease spreads quickly throughout the city, despite all sanitary precautions. Scientists work on the problem night and day. That's what we have discovered. Uh, their symptoms are similar to cerebritis, but we haven't been able to isolate the virus. Uh, I guess you've heard the many rumors. They say the disease was brought here in space discs. Uh, one other rumor. They're speaking of evacuating the city. There'll be panic unless we can learn something. I'm certain that unless we can, it'll be the end. I agree. We'll all die. But I fear we maybe can find the answer. We'll keep on, 
and by our experimentation we'll find it. I hope. I'm not going to admit defeat. Ah, I must get to the laboratory. Uh, excuse me. Mm. Will you get me the cultures? Yes. Professor Asayama decides to study through the night. Starman reaches the outer rim of our solar system, flying at the speed of light past Pluto and Neptune, as Professor Asayama falls under the power of the Kulamonia. Here's a dreaded sound from outer space. The sound of Starman approaching Earth. Oh. Tateno, I'm worried. Do you know where Father is? He likes to walk. He must be in the garden. Let me go and take a look. I'll go with you, all right? What is it, Yoshiko? You seem to be rather upset tonight. Yoshiko! We looked. We can't find Father. And we don't know where he went. Search the whole house and even the garden, right? Hmm? Looked in the lab? I'm sure he must be outside. I'll go and take a look. Be right back. Professor, what happened? Are you all right? Take this. At this moment, Starman reaches Earth. That's blood I see on your hands. What have you done tonight? 
Answer me. <laughs> Starman must take great care to avoid the Kulamonian's <laughs> deadly claws which can destroy even solid steel. <laughs> Starman realizes the salamander men of Kulaman already are infiltrating Earth. And he realizes, too, that he faces an almost impossible challenge to save the planet. Father, I'm glad you're going to get better. I'd like to talk Sentoteno in. All right. Is there something I can get you, Uncle? Anything to read? Oh, thank you, Noriko. Nothing. I'd like your children to go out and play. If you don't mind, I have to talk to Toteno on business. We don't mind. Just be careful not to talk too much. Let's go. Uh -huh. I have to talk to him privately. Yoshiko, will you leave us alone? Yes. Find it here. It was right on the floor. But you're certain it happened that way? Oh, exactly. It was a monster that attacked me. It was not of this earth. This was a serious accident. You're not well yet. You'll feel differently later. I'm not ill. Very well then. In that case, I will tell the authorities. They must hear it. You know, I suspect there are certain things Father won't tell us about. Rio, don't you agree? You mean about this mysterious thing? Whatever caused his accident left it? Yes. Yoshiko, why don't we try to investigate? Yes, let's. I think Tateno could help us. Let's ask him to right now. No, don't tell him a thing. He'll only go to Father with the story. That's right. Noriko, do you think that your brother would do it? Oh, I think he might. Let's ask him. 
He's the right one anyway. He's a biology specialist. Let's go to him right now. Yes, today. Jack and Dad. These tests reveal that this object is some kind of scale. It's from an amphibious creature. We guessed that. Isn't there anything else that you can tell us? Haven't you any other information as to what kind of creature? Mm, not yet. We arrived at certain theories which we don't want to reveal yet, you see. And also, if we reveal it to the world, I'm certain it would cause great terror and panic. Our scientists here intend to proceed with their experiments on it. Ah, I must ask you to keep what you have learned here a secret. Don't tell anyone at all. The secret Kulamonian attack continues with still another deadly weapon, high decibel sound waves that destroy vital tissues in skull. Now when Kokua stood alone in the street, her spirit died. The wind roared in the trees and the shadows tossed in the light of the street lamp. Teacher, do you hear it? Like a siren, louder and louder. It hurts, it hurts my head. Are you ill? Teacher? I hear it. It's there. Ah, can you hear that? It's weird. Huh? It's closer. As the people become panic-stricken, Starman seeks out the source of the deadly sound. of the murderous sound is destroyed. But the Kulamonians continue to spread the deadly germs, which someday soon can kill every living creature on Earth. Starman's battle has just begun. Millions of people are stricken with the disease. Flags are hung outside their doors warn those who are still well to keep away. But both old and young are attacked by the dreaded germs. 
Anshiro, my son. Anshiro. Anshiro. The disease is here. Children, run home. Get away from here quickly. Anshiro, speak to me. Oh, oh. No, 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 she's no, she's Miss, miss, stand back, give her air, she's ill. Stop the car, call an ambulance, hurry. One fact has become apparent lately. Those affected most seriously by the disease seem to have attended a performance at the Yamano Theatre they are struck almost immediately after seeing the show. You can see here what I mean. We just completed a check of the theater this morning. I'm able to say the disease starts here, but I don't know its bearer. The Yamano Theater, the apparent source of the dreaded disease, an unusual dance troupe gives a weird performance attended by Dr. Fukami and his aide, Dr. Shimamura. different. I've never seen anyone fly through the air the way they did. No one can teach that. It has to be inherited. That's obvious. I've suspicions, but I trust that they are wrong. If they are correct, we can all die. You see, I think that the dancers are... The dancers? Doctor, I beg you to say it. And I must. A lot of those who contracted the disease came to this theater to watch a show here. Just moments after they left, they became very ill. My theory is, this is a perfect place from which to spread germs. I think you'll agree to that. I do, Doctor. That isn't all. My theory goes on. The performers are not of this earth. And the germs are my space creatures? Doctor Fukami is correct. Welcome. Welcome, Doctors. I have been expecting you. Look! Run! <laughs> As the Kulamonian disease spreads, the authorities decide to evacuate the children from the cities. Don't worry, children. They'll soon take you back. They'll be able to locate your father, Noriko. I'll let you know just the minute that the doctor is found. Your father is alive. I will save your father. Soon I will see that he's rescued. Ah, I'm so glad to hear that. 
He's very strong, I'd say. And he's right. Starman is what they call me, little lady. Now, don't cry, not in front of friends. All right, I'll not cry. That's a good girl. I'll save your father, that's a promise. Here, you see this ball of crystal? I want you to keep it, understand? Any reason? Tell us. The ball will give a signal when your father is safe. And you'll see he'll be found. I've planned. Query, thank you, Starman. Send the signal soon. I'll try. You just keep watching for it. And if you need me, throw the ball on the ground, and no matter what I'm doing, I'll answer the signal. Don't forget to do that, children, huh? If we throw it when we reach our destination, will you come? <laughs> promise, promise, please. Now, wait. I have to tell you something about the crystal. Only once are you allowed to use it. Is that clear? Don't forget, I'll be busy seeking Noriko's father. So, signal. Just when I meet it. Yes, sir. Unless the insidious Kulamonian invasion is stopped, these children will never see their homes again. All right, children, we'll have our picnic here. Those of you who are looking for butterflies, be sure to stay within calling distance. Go on. We're going to look in the woods. Huh? I'd be killed by that tree, but I don't see it. What happened to it? What tree do you mean? A tree? It seemed as large as a whole house. A bolt struck it. A bolt of lightning? You were seeing things. How can there be lightning without any storm? I mean, if there was thunder and lightning and rain besides. A lot. He means that I think he's kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can see. See how wet I am. I don't understand. It all seems dry here. There was no storm, you say? Hmm. No storm at all today. Let's go on with our hunt. Here, don't be silly. Oh, the woods are foggy here. I don't want to go there. Let's go back. Through here. the path. What happened to it? I 
don't like it here. I'm scared. Let's go on. That may lead us back. Then move on. We should go near it. Having heard that the deadly germs seem to have come originally from the Amano Theater, and like Dr. Fukami, suspecting that the strange dance troupe may be disguised Kulamonians, arrives to investigate. You agreed to give a show for me. It can begin now. Very well, sir. The troupe will perform a special dance just for you. A preview of tonight's show.
and they too must die. Children! Then speak. Tell us what we want to know. Speak! <gasps> Starman has received the urgent signal and flies to the rescue. i 
your message, as you can see. Salamander men of Kulaman retreat into their watery element to be ready to fight another day. headquarters of the Kulamonians, far beneath the sea. Starman is interfering with our plans. But even he does not know of our base here. And there is no way that he can discover we are about to begin our final attack. I propose contacting our spaceships and beginning the attack immediately. Wait, not yet. Remember, they are developing some weapons to be used against us. And so first, we must locate their secret arsenal and be certain it's destroyed. I agree. We will have very little opposition once the arsenal is destroyed. And then what? We take over the Earth! Aye, aye, aye. At this moment, deep within Earth's secret arsenal... Gentlemen, our time is running out. The Kulamonians are ready. Soon they will launch their attack. They have an excellent chance to destroy us. Their germ warfare has weakened our army. We are working on immunization. But you know the emergency. The Kulamonians must be stopped, and for that we need a weapon. Oh! It's me, Yuichi. Yuichi! Oh! What happened? You've been hurt! Yuichi! It happened in the laboratory. Some chemicals flared up. But the burns are not at all serious. Oh, phone your father. Tell him he'd better come home. Go on. All right, I will. Tell him he'd better hurry. Hello, Noriko. Where is Yuichi? In his room. Oh, the electricity's off. Isaka, we need a candle so we can see. It's probably a fuse that's gone. Noriko, is your brother all right? Yes, the nurse says it isn't serious. He's all Good. bandaged. Ah. And he doesn't want us to visit him long. completely well in a few days. The burns were only second degree.
How do you feel, Yuichi? A little weak, that's about all. I just need some rest. I'll be up and around in a couple of days. I'm glad to hear it. I was worried. Now, Father, you better return to the arsenal. I know how important your work is. Important to the whole world. To every human being. Any delay will help the Kulamoni. Return to work. Mm. I'm glad you suggest it. I'll go now. Noriko, see that your brother rests. I'm positive he's in good hands. Here. Ah, yes. Oh, good night, child. Good night. I'll stop by early in the morning. Now, don't stay up too late, huh? <laughs> I won't. Good night, Father. Be careful. Don't worry. Good night. I'm sure the burns was hurt. You must lie down. Why do you keep staring? A monster! It was a trick. We wanted to lure your father here and then follow him to the arsenal and learn its location.
you hear the bell? Rico, what are you doing out at this hour? There's a, there's a monster out there. They came into our house. One of them followed father, and the other, that's the one out there. Rio, quickly, phone the police, mm -hmm. and also defense headquarters. Emergency, emergency, emergency! Oh, it's gone dead. I don't hear a thing. Emergency, emergency, emergency. Emergency. Why don't we hide? It's scary.
The Earthlings already must have discovered a secret weapon. We will have to hurry. Is there any report about Dr. Fukami? Our agents are following him. Dr. Fukami is unaware that he is leading the Kulamonian agents toward the secret arsenal. This must be the place, the Earthlings defense arsenal. We will execute our prisoners and then report back to headquarters. Oh, take your hands off me. What are you doing? Let me go. Oh. You Earthlings are fools. You haven't the sense to realize you cannot stop us. Within the next few hours, we shall destroy all of you and take over the Earth for ourselves. Your secret arsenal over there will be our first target, and then we shall rain death on all of you! Ah, Dr. Fukami. We've got the results of the last serum, sir. Well, some luck. We've succeeded. Fine. The new poison was tested by marine biologists with interesting results. The poison we have developed tonight will kill not only marine animals, but all Kulamonians. Doctor, we've made the discovery none too soon. That's right. Now, we must mass produce it. Beginning tonight, the armies must be supplied. Gentlemen, let's begin immediately. Yes, sir. Doctor. Congratulations. Thank you. We must acquisition enough raw material. So, uh, I've ordered it. However, one ingredient won't be here for a few days. M17 what? wasn't in stock, Doctor. But they've been making some. The police just telephoned. Yes? Your children just killed a Kulamonian with a chemical. The children are perfectly safe. The police have made certain. But the Kulamonian was destroyed by it. What was it? It was copper sulfate in liquid. Was it? You're certain? Yes, sir. Then I must try it. Copper sulfate. We have the chemical in our warehouse already, tonight. Good. We'll produce it to be used by the army's guns. Excellent. Tonight. Let's get to yes. work. Huh? Yes. Oh. 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 Yuichi, what happened? This arsenal's location has been discovered by the Kulamonians. They've learned it? Oh. The masters, they are waiting. Earlier tonight, I was taken prisoner. Then they put on disguises. Pretending that I was hurt, they lured you to visit me tonight. When you returned, you led them to the arsenal. They know oh. of it? Uh. Oh. The Kulamonians begin their attack, first striking at the largest cities on Earth. Head for the secret arsenal, Starman flies to the defense.
was only one ship of the Kulamonian space fleet. Starman seeks out the enemy. the salamander men return across space to the planet Kulaman, deep in the Marpet galaxy. Having lost a battle, they seek here a different and more deadly plan with which to conquer Earth, the richest planet in the universe. weapon the Earthlings have discovered by accident has been duplicated and tested in our laboratories and found to be effective. It would destroy us. Therefore, we must do something to stop them before they are able to mass produce it. If we are to conquer them, we must move quickly. First of all, we must be absolutely certain that Starman is destroyed. I have an idea. The solution is to change the orbit of the Earth. But can we produce enough energy to do that? We can. Melendo, our greatest scientist, has made another discovery. He can change the orbit of any planet. This will help us accomplish our purpose. Let us summon him to give us a demonstration. Melendo, come. Melendo, come. I respond to your summons. I shall change the Earth's orbit. Earth! Oh, Doctor! Oh. oh! Gentlemen, it has happened five times in the last few hours. Our work is being damaged. We cannot control Earth's rotation. If this continues, we will have to surrender. Impossible. Can you proceed using some kind of artificial gravity? I can try. Unless I succeed, we shall all die. Let us do all we can. Yes. Throughout the world, the highest government leaders argue over the best defense for Earth. They realize that the Kulamonians have developed weapons so powerful that they can even change Earth's seemingly permanent movement through space. But every man has his own scheme for salvation, and, as always, few can agree. In reality, however, there is no effective defense against so potent a force. Opinions are voiced not only by statesmen, but by average citizens, too. Everyone has ideas, but no one can say how to carry them out. Panic now fills the minds of everyone, and fear of destruction is everywhere. Starman, disguised as an Earthling, listens and wonders if there is anything he can do. He was sent from the Emerald Planet to save Earth. But what can one creature, no matter how clever and strong, do against the hordes of Salamander men, the legions of Kulamonians, now descending upon Earth? surrender to us, you shall be dead. We await your surrender, Earthmen. If you fail to obey us immediately, we will stop the Earth's rotation. All of your homes, everything you have built will be destroyed. And you, Earthmen, you also will perish. <laughs> Tell me, Professor, how long will it take to complete your weapon? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm unable to say. The gravity loss has been delaying us. Tell me, how long? It may take days. I'm afraid we must surrender or be killed by them. I must agree with the doctor. I'm ready to destroy all of our chemicals and bow to them. And be killed? You know that they are going to kill us anyway. You have no basis for saying that. There must be room for negotiation. I suggest we try it. No, negotiation will gain nothing. We'll stand firm. And further, I feel that... Absolutely. Gentlemen, you need not worry. You wonder who I am. Starman is the name. I now promise to save your planet Earth. I shall try to destroy all of the Kulamonians. Wish me luck. I go now. Oh, 
I'm sure it's Dave can help us out. Yes, he will. Thank you. You're our only hope. Good luck. Spaceship has come. Let us get aboard. Save her. I'll give you a chance to go back to the planet you're from. <laughs> but the Earth soon shall be mine. When you've been destroyed, we shall take it. I'm going to show you my strength.
gun is ready for use. And as of today, we have sufficient stock on hand. This is the way it is to be held. He will fire for 30 seconds. Emergency. Emergency. Kulamonians are reported in the Metcom area. Emergency. Emergency. Due to the strength of Starman and the effective secret weapons, the Kulamonian invasion of Earth has ended and the Salamander men have been destroyed. So the Man of Steel from the Emerald Planet has successfully carried out his mission. He begins his two billion mile journey home, speeded on his way by the farewells of the grateful people of Earth.